I'm exhausted because I'm just tired. It's late at night and I'm fixing to probably go to bed here in a little bit. I don't know. But I don't know what type of hell I'm in. But that's the way that I feel right about now. There's this guy named John that when I worked at my first job, he came in a few times. Okay. Then, I found out that he used to be the previous, like, GM or owner or whatever of where I was working. Then, I started working another job never seen him never heard of him never remembered him or any damn thing then I go to my third job I leave that second job leave first job I'm at the third job while I'm at the third job he's one of our customers regular comes in and one day he tells me that I'm pretty. Okay. Thanks for the compliment. He tries hitting on me. Two or three times. Kind of awkward about it. I'm definitely awkward about it because he's way older than me. So, okay. You know, I want nothing to do with you. You know, sorry. You're too old. Sorry. I'm not interested. Sorry, I'll think about it, but I highly likely fucking doubt it. There's a girl that I'm working with there. A girl or a woman that I thought was my friend that I thought didn't like the other person that we worked with, the other girl that we worked with, because the things she would say about her behind her back. So, okay, everything's whatever. I'm getting along with both the girls, I believe, that I work with. They don't get along with each other. They talk shit about each other behind their backs, but especially this one. And this one that especially talks a lot of trash about the other behind their back. Ends up stealing. Well, before even that happens... She's trying to push me to go with this John guy. She even gets his phone number and gives it to me. And she's like, I really think he'd be good for you. <sighs> so anyways, this other girl... She ends up stealing. I try to tell the boss about it. Boss don't believe me. I get stressed out at work a few months later. I quit. And then about a month after I quit, he finds that girl stealing. And he demotes her. And then she didn't like being demoted. So she left. And then her and the other girl that was working there that I became friends with, I found out that she was still friends with the one that left the job. And I didn't say nothing to her. I just let her be friends because she's her own self. And she never asked me. And she had done had some questionable judgments. So I guess you'd say her intuition was done kind of speaking sometimes to her about it. Anyways. Now take into account, I have no problem with these women. Except for the one that stole from the store. The only reason I have a problem with her with that is because that's a moral value that I believe you don't do. And, you know, like, I just don't believe that you, you do that. And especially to the degree that she was doing it, the way she was doing it, and then on top of it, we weren't even making minimum wage, or I wasn't. So... I'm trying to make more money for the store by being a better salesperson and stuff 
so that way I can get a better paycheck, so that way I'm not having to borrow money from my grandmother, like $100 every month, to make it. And this woman's giving out free stuff and stealing things. Taking money out of the business's pocket and essentially taking money out of my own pocket. And then she's even complaining about money. So she's essentially taking money out of her own pocket. So anyways, he fired her. So I go to my next job. At my next job, I meet the girl that goes by EJ that I'm in love with. Well, all hell breaks loose. For as far as just, I don't even know. So, okay. All hell breaks loose. Whatever. Because <sighs> she gets mad at me. Even though I asked her, I was like, is this okay? And she's like, yeah. And apparently it wasn't. So, whatever. And apparently I'm the piece of shit. Whatever. I swear, I think I think I think somebody sold my soul, or something, or is trying to get my soul fucking sold to the devil or something. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, anyways, now granted, there are people that can have the same names. There are. Um. But this gentleman, this older gentleman, that his name is John, his last name starts with a J. And it's the most plain Jane damn name you ever fucking heard of, I guess you'd say. But anyways, uh, I just found out, like, literally seven minutes ago, that the girl, EJ, her dad is with this older woman. Now, I have no problem with that, whatever, unless he wants to be a hypocrite. In that, I have a problem. But other than that, I have no problem. That's cool. That's his business. Whatever. But this older woman... On her Facebook, I just seen, put up that a, a post, and it's out to public, that there was a charity event at the local bowling alley on my birthday, mind you. Coincidental hell. I'm in coincidental hell. That's all there is to it. And it's for this fucking guy man it's for this guy not unless it's another guy that has the same name and this guy has a wife I'm in hell I want my child right now, and I want to run the fuck away. I literally, I, I'm getting so stressed out right now, it's ridiculous. My heart's starting to race. I don't know what the fuck I'm in. What the fuck am I in? What the fuck is going on? Like, literally, people just apparently sit around, and they're like, you know what? I hate her. She made me mad. And I'm of higher status, so I want to fuck her whole life up. Or it's like, oh, I'm in higher status, you know, so I done bought her when she was a fucking child or some shit, but I've got to make it look like it's some innocent way of getting her or controlling her or dictating her life. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but this is some goddamn bullshit. This is some goddamn motherfucking bullshit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck's going on. What the fuck am I caught up in? Like, I was literally in my own little world. Trying to be happy. And apparently that's a big no-no in life. Says everybody. 
But I, I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to mind my own business. And I swear to God. How? Ava darling, sweetheart, my baby doll. If mommy runs the fuck away, when you get 18, if you want to come find me, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave a trail or I will contact you on your 18th birthday. If I run away, I don't know if I will, but if this shit don't stop, if whatever the fuck is going on don't damn stop, I might have to, honey. Because I can't live in this 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 circle, clingy bullshit of what the fuck ever is going on. I don't even know what the fuck is going on, okay? And in all honesty, I've lived here, baby doll, my whole 30 years of my life, sweetheart. So, mommy's done seeing everybody that can be seen around here. I know the faces and shit like that. I need to go f live someplace where I see new faces. Because this shit's getting old. Because I'm getting tired of it circling and circling and circling. And it just loops back and it loops around. And for every five people I know, one of those people knows somebody that I don't like. And then they talk to that person about me. And then it gets in this other circle and it just keeps circling and circling. And circling. And so, sweetheart, if I do, like, just pack my shit and run the fuck away, know that I love you. Know that I'm here for you. Know that I want you. Know that I will try to build up my life and get custody back of you before you even turn 18. And know that if I do not establish it before you're 18, that when you turn 18, baby doll, you can come to me. You can live with me. I will provide for you. I will take care of you. You are my child. I do love you, but for as far as this bullshit and knowing what the fuck's going on and everybody on their goddamn games or what the fuck ever's going on, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore, baby doll. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, baby sweetheart, I don't know what the fuck's going on. My dear sweet child, this is absurd. This scares me for you, baby doll. Because if this much shit's going on around me, that a guy's going to hit on me, and you even know him. Even if I was to tell you the name, Ava, you'd say, yeah, mommy, I remember him. Well, I don't know if you would or not. That's right, because you was in that car wreck. And that's another thing, too. You was in that car wreck. And the name of the person... What the fuck is going on? The last name was Gray. My best friend, when I was a kid, grew up and married a guy whose last name is Gray. Then, this girl has only had two sons, and she wanted a daughter. And I thought it was funny that she didn't have a daughter, and she cried about it, and she got upset about it, because she had two sons. Because I wanted a son, and I got a daughter, and baby doll, I love you regardless. I didn't cry whenever I found out you was a girl. I, I didn't care. It is what it is. It worked out the way that it worked out, and I love you to death just the way that you are. But I thought it was funny because this girl decided to not be friends with me, had a falling out with me when I was real young and really best friends with her, and she chose a different friend over me, and I was done dealing with the emotional shit from Nana and Papa or my parents, if it's somebody else watching this, I threw myself off of the goddamn bleachers trying to fucking kill myself because I thought, well, there goes the only person that gives a shit about me. Then, the maintenance people 
that work here at the goddamn apartments. One of them is her fucking uncle. And then these people got in my daughter's life. <laughs> they they hung out with us. We hung out with them. Their kid, or their, what is it? Not their kid, but his ex-wife's daughter's baby or some shit like that. Wanted to have a play date with my kid, so that's what we did. They had play dates. And then we slowly started falling apart, not being friends, because they started doing the same shit that this kid used to do to me that I used to think was my best friend, which was they're the best of the best, and they get the best, and whatever they want, they get. And so this kid, they went to a little beach around here, and this kid got a... Uh, the, her and my daughter both got two bags, and they knew whose bag was what, and they collected seashells. Well, my daughter spent the majority of her time collecting seashells because she's just into stuff like that. The other child spent more time in the water. When they went to go leave, they picked up the bag of seashells. And this damn, these damn people... Whenever they went to go leave or whatever, this kid picked up my daughter's bag. And then my daughter was directed to pick up the other child's bag. So my daughter gets in the car to come home and says, she's got my bag. The other child says, no, I don't. The woman even states, yes, that is Ava's bag. You need to give that back to Ava. The child says she don't want to or no, it's mine or something like that. And that was the end of it. And so Ava didn't get her bag of sea sh seashells and the other child did. And Ava come home and cried about it and was like, Mommy, I had a lot that I dug up because I spent like however long, 45 minutes, an hour or whatever, digging and she stole my seashells, you know. And so she come home like that, and then there was a few other incidents on the play date. And I looked at her, and I told her, well, it's your choice, and you got to put up with it or not. And if not, then you're going to be without her friendship. You know, it's, it's, it's your choice. And so she chose to not be friends with her no more and actually be friends with this other kid that treated her a hell of a lot better. So then all that's going on. And like I said, the girl that was my best friend when I was a kid, my grandmother used to get mad at her because when I would sit and play a board game with her and get up and leave the table to go piss or shit in the damn bathroom and come back, she would have moved pieces so that way she's cheating so that way she wins. And my grandmother didn't like her for doing that. And my grandmother would put an end to it and tell her to put the pieces back and everything else. And that that was wrong and that she shouldn't do that. And she still always did that. She still always did that until I started standing up for myself and saying, Hey, this ain't right. Stop doing it or I'm just not going to play with you. So I got to where I wouldn't play certain things with her because she wanted to cheat at it. And so, like I said, we grow up, we're not friends, we're not close, but they're still neighbors with my parents. And the way the property is, they're within fucking earshot of my loud ass mouth. And so, like I said, she had two sons. She cried she didn't want two sons. I had a daughter. I didn't want a daughter, but I didn't cry about it. I was fine. So I thought it's funny that she had two sons. Okay, you know, you got two sons, you didn't, you, you wish you would have had a girl, and you got so upset that you cried about it. All your emotions are actually hurt for the first time. It's about damn time that your emotions get hurt like that, because you've had a hell of a lot better life than I have, because when you cheat, your family safeguards your ass. When you do something wrong, they're right there for you. Because they're worried about getting ahead just like what they've taught you to be. And that's all that you're fucking worried about. So all that's going on. And like I said, the maintenance guy here is the uncle 
to that girl. This girl is married to somebody, last name Gray. And I'll be damned, my kid is hanging out with her new friend that treats her better now. This is when she was home. And she goes to spend the night with her. And she gets in a car wreck. And the person that hit them hit right where my daughter's sitting. And the last name is Gray. Then, not only that, previous neighbors that I had here, their last name was Evans. We had issues with them. They didn't like us. I didn't like them. I didn't like them because they didn't like us. They started the shit. I had no problem with them. They started the shit. Didn't like me. Okay, fine, whatever. But after a while, I was like, I don't like you either. I even had one of them threaten me and be like, I have a cop that uh, is in my family and his last name's Evans. I even told the police this whenever I called the police one damn time and told them, hey, they threatened me pretty much saying they got a cop here in town, last name Evans. And they're like, oh man, there, there's no cop here with the last name Evans. Okay, okay. I went to school with a girl whose last name's Evans. This girl has now grown up and become a doctor or a pediatric doctor or whatever or a nurse or well, a doctor. When my daughter is in the car wreck, hit where she's sitting by the person with the last name Gray. And we go to the emergency room that night. The damn girl that I went to school with, whose last name is Evans, was her doctor. Same last name as the freaking people living next door to me who hated my guts, who would beat and bang on the walls until 3 and 5 o'clock in the fucking morning. I actually stayed up one goddamn night. I got off of work at fucking 10 o'clock. Yeah, no, 11. I got off work at 11 o'clock. This was the first year I was living here. Came home. Got ready to go to bed like 11, 20, 11, 30. Tried to lay down and go to sleep. And this bitch played music and beat on the wall the whole goddamn night. I tried to lay in here. My daughter luckily slept in her room on her makeshift bed. I tried to sleep in there. But I wasn't going to listen to that neighbor bitching. Because she thought it was me beating on the damn wall playing music. And it wasn't. So I slept on the fucking couch. Tried to. Tried to, mind you. Never slept. Never fucking slept. I laid here until 3.30 in the goddamn morning waiting for that fucking bitch to shut the hell up. I did not call the cops on her. I did not call the landlord. I did not complain about it until like a week later because this bitch called the landlord and complained on me about my dogs shitting in the yard. They're dogs. They're going to shit in the yard. You dumbass. So anyways... At 3.30, I'm like, oh my fucking God, she's insane. She really has something wrong with her. So I'm like, I'm done, whatever. And if I have to, I can I can go to the fucking hospital. I can get the fucking records. I, I probably even got some papers still laying around here. Showing that that girl, Evans, and showing that the girl, Gray, not the one that I was friends with, but still, same last name. What the fuck is going on? And then that's another thing, too. The girl that I'm friends with, or whatever, her last name is a very prominent name around here, even though she says she don't know any of her family, or whatever. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I swear to God, man, people fucking hate me. Or, or somebody does, or something's going on, or I'm just, like I said, I'm in coincidental hell. But anyways, it was Evans that took care of my kid that first night when we went up there. But, uh, damn bitch was beating on the fucking door, or, well, it's a door that got sealed off. Because these weren't originally apartments. And she, she would not shut the fuck up. I didn't say nothing to her. I just kept trying to lay down and sleep. 
and the dogs kept barking periodically and I kept having to get on to them and at 3.30 I was like you know what I gotta be at work at 6 I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna make a huge breakfast so I put on a pot of coffee I drank two fucking cups I was lit as hell and luckily, luckily, I got off like at 12 that day. They, they let me go at 12. I was supposed to get off at 2. But they was like, you, you want to go home? Because I was starting to crash. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think I might need to. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I, I just, I can't. I can't. And that's like Parker's, like my cousin, she was with Parker's. And if I remember correctly, I even met that guy around then. Seen him around then. And... <sighs> And then this girl, this woman that I work with over here, one of her child's names, Parker. And I was like, are y'all related? And she's like, no. No. Don't know. Never heard of them. Okay. And then I noticed there's some shit going on with some petites. I think that's how they say their last name. And I don't even know nothing about any of them. Other than my cousin Misty wrote me one letter when she was in jail and mentioned that some girl with the last name Petite died in the fucking jail. Like, because she was like a diabetic and had a seizure or something and she died. Or something. What the hell am I in? What the fuck is going on? Can somebody help me? Can somebody get me the fuck out of here before I just literally pack up shit and run the fuck away? Like, damn. Like, EJ, is this why you're not talking to me? Are you mixed up in some type of shit? What the fuck's going on, man? All I want is honesty. All I want is the damn truth. And I don't want it to be like a whatever goddamn movie. You can't handle the truth. The only truth that I fucking want, I guess you could say, is I just want to be left the fuck alone and raise my kid. And find one person... That I like, that I approve of, that I enjoy their company, that I'm like, you know what, we've dated this long, we got along, you know, this worked out, and marry that one person. That's all that I want, okay? I want a normal fucking life, man. I want a vehicle, I want a home. I want to be able to drive, to go to the store, to take my kid to the park. To take her to school functions. What the fuck is going on, man? People need to back the fuck up. I don't know who the hell I pissed off. I don't know who the hell. I don't know what the hell's going on. It may just all be coincidental. It may just be. But holy fucking shit balls, man. <laughs> like, damn. <sighs> what the fuck is going on? People need to stay away from me. That's all I is to it. Unless your name is EJ, and you coming to talk to me, and and my kid being home, and unless it's that, and unless like, you know, like EJ talked to me and she like, I I don't want nothing do we, and I'm like, okay, you know, and we talk about it, and I get closure, that way I can move on and be like, okay, I'm gonna date other people, like I don't even fucking no, just just no, just don't don't don't. Don't engage. Don't talk to me. Just, no. Just done. Just stop. Just. Clarabelle, we're in hell. You got my back, baby. But if I end up having to fucking, like, lose. Boy, y'all both perked up on that. <laughs> and then that's another thing, too. My dog been missing for a month. And like I said, there's so many people that walk around where I live and stuff. You can't tell me ain't somebody seen him. And then I had two people. One of the ones, like I said, uh, she's uh, got a kid whose last name's Parker. And Parkers are related to my family because my cousin and shit like that and everything or what the fuck ever and stuff. And they got a big name or whatever. 
in town. Just, just leave me alone. Just let me go. Just let me have a normal life, man. I don't know who the hell I pissed off. I don't know what the fuck I done. I don't know. This is what makes people paranoid. This is what makes people lose their fucking minds. And this is cruelty, in all honesty. If this is some shit going on and it's not just random coincidence, well, hell, even if it is random coincidence for as far as the names, the hell I've been through, a woman beating on the fucking damn wall for a whole fucking night. People beating on the goddamn walls at me and shit. Then I call the cops out about stuff and they act like it's no big deal. And then I call them out one night when there's a guy out here for an hour in the freezing fucking cold. And he keeps disappearing every time I go in, but he keeps reappearing every time I come out. He did it three fucking times. I call the cops out, and they're like, oh, are you sure? And then the son of a bitch showed up while the cop was here. The cop was fixing to pull out and leave, and I was like, okay, you know, while you're still in the parking lot area next door, let me walk my dogs. And sure enough, here comes this this stranger, this, this I don't know who the fuck person, have no idea who the hell he is. And he, he's trying to approach me and talk to me. I don't know if I talked to him online and didn't know that I'd talked to him online, but the only person I'd even talked to online was supposedly you're supposed to be able to find people that, you know, cuddle. And so I, I joined this group like a week before this shithead showed up. Trying to find somebody to cuddle with. I found three people being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. If, if, if I don't trust it at all. If I could find somebody that legitimately would just hold me, I, I would be set for like a while. Because I didn't like, didn't get that. And this this joker shows up. And so I call the cop, and the cop sees him, and the cop flags him down or whatever, waves him down, and talks to him. And so whenever that shit happened, I deleted that whole fucking account, man, because I was just like, <laughs> I don't know if that's where you come from, but I'm done. I'm done, and I'm over it. When me and my husband split five years ago, I, and I got... Uh, internet probably about a year and a half later I went and I got on every type of dating website practically that you could find because I legitimately wanted a husband that I approved of or someone to build my damn life with and I couldn't find anybody so I deleted all the accounts I believe or else I logged out of them and deactivated them or some shit but all I know is I've not been on a fucking dating website. I I don't even know how long. I, I honestly don't. I really don't. Maybe a year and a half ago? I don't even know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is some bullshit. This has got to stop. This has got to quit. Whatever this is, Lord, if this is the devil, get the devil off my ass. Because if you don't, I will do it myself with a goddamn chainsaw. Like, no. Oh, my fucking hell. But I'm going to end this video. But anybody that sees this, apparently, apparently, some, some something, I don't know. Pray for me is all I can say. Pray for me or better yet, just fucking help me. Just fucking help me. If, if if somebody can provide me a vehicle, and then I'll take care of myself for as far as that, you know, up until my lease is up. And then if you know a good place where me and my daughter can live with our pets, hit me up. But other than that, I don't need, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm set. 
Like, I, I can I can do the rest of the shit myself. And then even at that, I mean, if I got to, even though I'm scraping the barrel bottom and it's going to be harder and shit, but man, fuck this shit. Fuck it in the ass. I'm done. I'm going to end this video here. This is just, like, my mind's just fucking blown out the goddamn water right about now because I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This dude that was hitting on me that I wouldn't take his advances and he's older than me. And then I know two vehicles that he drives because when he hit on me and I didn't take to his advances, he started pulling up over there more when I wasn't working there. And then when I would go over and that girl was still there that ended up getting demoted, she'd be like, oh, he came in. Oh, he told me he's seen you outside. Oh, he, he really likes you. Oh, he this. Oh, he... And she's like, he drives this. Next time you see him pull up outside, you need to come over and you need to talk to him. Lord God, Jesus, help me. And then the girl I, that I hung out with, and I ended up falling in love with her, and I don't know if it was like some type of setup, her coming in to check on me so that way she could relay information to somebody. And that sounds insane, I know, but with the way my dad is, that's the person that I would worry about. That's the only person that I would think that would even, or not unless it's my crazy fucking husband. But other than that, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think anybody would give a shit or care. So, what the fuck is going on? And then... Her dad's, the girl I'm in love with, her dad's girlfriend, wife, whatever, is friends or whatever with this dude that was hitting up. Like, I just, man, I just can't. I have, I, I tried to smoke, or, well, I smoked. I smoked weed once when I was 15. I need, I got, Shit. Fuck. I need a drink. Jesus Christ. Luckily, I still have half of a drink in the fridge, and I'm fixing to go fucking get it. But I smoked weed once when I was 15, and my little cousins was uh, asleep in the living room, and when I seen them, I cried, and I swore I'd never try it again, and I haven't. I haven't. But damn, people got me so fucking stressed out right now. I'm not saying I would, but Lord do I feel like I could. I just can't. I just want to be left alone. I, I want to raise my kid. I want my kid back home with me. Back with her mama, where she's, she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be with me. And to raise her... And to have a decent life, okay? If y'all are worried that I'm going to step on your little goddamn toes of you having a perfect life and being richer than me or some shit, I don't give a shit, okay? Go go get your damn boyfriend's dick fucking dipped in gold while you suck the son of a bitch. I don't give a shit, okay? I really don't. I don't give a flying fuck, okay? Get your teeth co covered in goddamn diamonds. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm not sitting here trying to be rich, damn it. I'm sitting here trying to fucking live and have a decent life and enjoy life and have peace. I honestly want to get my kid and just move to the fucking mountains out in the middle of the fucking goddamn boondocks, like, or what the fuck ever, like, just, oh my God. Lord Jesus, help me. I'm going to end it here. I'll end it here. 
anybody that sees this, and I might even end up sharing this to my Facebook tomorrow, tonight, or within the next week or two or some shit. I've not shared any of my videos to my Facebook because I don't want more drama. But apparently, it's still unfolding for me to see. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like... What, when I was born, did, did God put a mark on me that, like, y'all just was like, yes, we have to. Like, I, I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking know, man. But I'm going to end it here. Anybody that sees my videos, anybody that's going through any type of weird shit like this, just coincidental or what the fuck ever, man, talk to me, hit me up, and I will catch you later. I'm going to end this, like I said. So comment, share, like, or subscribe. Comment, talk to me, chat with me. Help a brother out, you know, like, <laughs> damn, oh my God, help, whew, it's a mind trip, like I said before, I think I'm getting mind fucked or something, but the thing is, is not really because I see it, I mean, and, I, and just like I said, about eerie feelings and all kinds of stuff, and, man, just, just don't. I'm going to end it, so I'll catch you later. Comment, share, like, subscribe, and again, catch you later. And help me. Lord, help me.